Hey everyone, Therese here. Welcome or welcome back to a new video. This video also concludes my Therese Treats series this year and I hope you enjoyed the videos I came up with so far. Today, I'm so excited to share with you my new daily journal for 2024. My new notebook is the Reverie Dotted Journal from My Mellow Days. I bought it myself earlier this year and it is so pretty. I got inspired by Tina of Tina's Diary to try one myself and I've been looking forward to using it. But today is the day, so let's open the notebook and start my 2024 daily journal. I'm gonna write my name on the introduction page with my fountain pen. I like to decorate my beginning pages for this and I have a brand called Sticky to help me out which is also a lovely sponsor of today's video. You might be familiar with them but for the uninitiated, Sticky is a sticker subscription company. They create three different themed sticker packs and they also sell their items individually. They also collaborate with artists so you might recognize some of their artworks. They let me choose one of their sticker packs to show you what it looks like in their subscription. They have three styles to choose from, cute, vintage, and pop. I have an example of their vintage style pack. It is a previous pack but still available in their website. Normally, you'll get seven sticker sheets and a storage insert which is really nice. They also include other things like a postcard size artwork, notepad, mini sticker book, etc. Each subscription pack is priced at 12 US dollars per month. So if you will get three styles, it will be for 36 US dollars plus shipping. I think it's really a good deal. And they also gifted me some more stickers to try out. Even if I already have my own sticker shop, I'm still open to support fellow sticker shops and I'm really excited to use the designs that I chose. I just picked the ones that resonate with my style, if you can tell. <laughs> the materials are also varied. It can be transparent, vinyl, frosted, and textured. And I also got one more of the postcard, a beautiful bookmark, and a notepad. They include the artist's name on the sticker sheet itself, which I also really admire. So if you would like to try out their sticker subscription, remember to check out their website. It is linked on the video description below. And with that said, I am also excited to partner with Sticky to give away 9 past packs from their website. It is open worldwide. All you need to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment which past sticker pack you like the most from their shop. Again, thank you so much Sticky for sponsoring this video. Alright, going back to my journal, I'm decorating my intro page using this Nature's Notes sticker sheet. We're just putting the stickers around my name. I like the journaling related illustration. I think the theme of the sticker is great for it. Then let's flip to the next pages to create my first spread in this notebook. I know the first pages can be intimidating. There is this fear of mistakes. But let's shake that off and what we will do here is just really making it personal and intentional. So I'm beginning by attaching the postcard artwork. This is simply beautiful. I love the minimal style. This one is in landscape and the size of the card is a bit bigger than my page. So I had to reduce all sides a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> But it's not that bad and I happen to have two of them so somehow I felt okay with it. <laughs> I'm also adding some basic grid washi tapes to add some accents around the card. Below, I want to write New Year, New Blessings in a bigger lettering using my fountain pen. 
we always have that notion that new year is a new beginning. As the new year begins, we feel that we need to make changes in our lives, start a new path, do new things, and say goodbye to old habits, problems, and difficulties. Often we start making new plans and new resolutions. Although I like to do that on my bullet journal, in this daily journal, I want to extend more of that in an introspective way and what I want to remind myself. I also wrote a short paragraph below telling some of those. There's not really a right or wrong way to start a journal or diary. Some people like to use the first pages to write down some rules or goals and some skip them for the meantime and just jump to writing their first journal entry somewhere else and come back to them when they are ready to add anything on those first pages. But I hope this video gives you an idea. I also want to share that my mellow days also inspired me to journal like this. Their journal pages are so inspiring, so I kind of incorporated their style into mine. I mentioned in my previous video about how I journal daily, that it is a place for me to draw more, and that's what I exactly did during those times, during this whole year. I think my journaling style or the way I put my daily entries will change a bit this year 2024 now that I create my own stickers too and it honestly going to feel easier and quicker for me to decorate my pages. But of course I will still try to draw on paper as much as I can. Also this particular notebook has watercolor pages. I love painting, so I would like to test that out whenever I can. What I'm saying is that it is okay to change how you want to journal depending on your time and circumstances. If I had a lot of time to draw in previous journals, I'll definitely prioritize writing because I can adjust how big or small my hand-drawn illustrations will be but if you mainly like to use stickers, it will be the placement or alignment of your writing that you will need to adjust. And I started realizing that when my fellow artists sent me some of their stickers to try and I used them to decorate my daily pages. <laughs> anyway, I also wrote some more on the second page. It is actually like a Dear Self journal prompt. I also wrote the words strong and courageous around the sticker on the top right, which I by the way changed. <laughs> These are the qualities that I like to continue bringing next year. Sharing my faith here on my channel started with an, an easy feel, but I'm thankful that I'm given more courage to do so without being imposing or forcing it. I'm happy that most of us here in our community are open and respectful. So yeah, another thing I want to add here is this envelope. I'm actually using one of my small white packaging paper and folded it a bit to fit the space and attach it on the page. We decorated the center with this girl and floral stickers from the same sticker sheet. One thing I notice is the material is quite thin with a strong adhesive, especially on the frosted one like the sticker sheet. So sometimes I needed to use my fingers to remove them from the backing since they also roll up too much that they get stuck. But there are definitely stickers here that are easy to peel. Then I also decorated the top part of the bag with these little flowers and leaves. This beautiful notepad here that I got also fits perfectly inside. I'm taking two of them for now, but I might add some more later. I didn't want to write on the design, so I'm going to write on the back instead with some more encouraging sentences. 
And the final step here is to write Dear Precious below the stickers on the front. I really like the word precious here in place of the self word. It makes me feel special. <laughs> But that's pretty much it, I guess, for my new daily journal for now. Here are the sticker sheets that I use to decorate these pages in case you get them from Sticky. Thanks again, Sticky, for making my first pages pretty. I cannot wait to write more starting next year and fill this notebook with my thoughts, memories, lessons, my art, and my heart. I really hope you enjoyed this video and inspired you to journal the way you want. Be blessed, strong, and courageous next year. And with that, I hope you are spending the rest of the year with your favorite people and being kinder to yourself. Thank you so much for your support throughout the year in this channel. I hope you look forward to my next videos and I'll talk to you again really soon. Bye everyone!